हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम सो मच टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द डॉक्टर कृष्णन लेक्चर आई एम डॉक्टर रमेश कृष्णन डूइंग सुपर स्पेशलाइजेशन इन न्यूरोलॉजी एट इन द प्रेस पोलो हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल फॉर मोर एंड रेगुलर अपडेट्स ऑन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स ऑफ द मेडिकल साइंस then intrinsic cerebellar circuits gray matter is divided into external molecular layer middle purkinje cells layer and internal granular layers external molecular layer contains two types of neurons outer stellate cells and inner basket cells middle purkinje cells layer is the biggest cells in the cns is flask shaped and arranged in a single layer dendrites of the cells passes into the molecular layer with profuse branching collateral branches of the purkinje axons make synaptic connects with the dendrites of the basket and the stellate cells of the granular layers inner granular layer each cell gives rise to four to five dendrites which makes claw like endings and have synaptic contacts with mossy fiber inputs axons of each granular cell passes into the molecular layer where it bifurcates at the t junction and branches runs parallel to the long axis of the cerebellar folium is called as parallel fibers and it runs at right angle to the dendritic process of the purkinje cells most of the parallel fibers make synaptic contacts with the dendrites of the purkinje cells here the cerebellar cortex is connected with the purkinje cells and these purkinje cells have afferent and efferent outputs through the deep nuclei and sends connections to the send signals to the brain stems and nuclei this purkinje cells also receives inputs from vestibular nuclei as well as from mossy and climbing fibers then this figures depicts the structures of cerebellar cortex it consists of three layers molecular purkinje and granular layers has five types of cells purkinje granular basket stellate and golgi cells out of which granular cell layer is the excitatory one and rest are inhibitory cells here we can see that these are the purkinje cells which ascends up to the molecular layers and forms profuse branching and it gets connected with the basket and stellate cells axons of the granular cell layers ascends up to the molecular layers and runs parallel to the long axis called as parallel fibers and these parallel fibers again connects with the purkinje cells dendrites of the purkinje cells then intracerebellar nuclei these are the four masses of gray matter embedded in white matter of the cerebellum on each sides of the midline from lateral to medial these nuclei are dentic emboliform globose and festigial festigial nuclei assist stance and gait and controls muscles only in mode of sitting standing and walking nucleus interpositus assist segmental reflexes that is 
concerned with stability and hastens the initiation of movements triggered by somatosensory clues that guides the response and stops unwanted oscillations. Whereas dented nuclei assist in tasks requiring fine dexterities. Dentate is largest cerebellar nuclei and has shape of crumpled bag with opening facing medially. This figure depicts the different nuclei of the cerebellum. These are the vestigial nucleus globus and involiform which are collectively called nucleus interpositeus and these are the dentate nuclei. Then vascular supply of the cerebellum. The blood, the blood supply of the cerebellum is from posterior inferior cerebellar artery, anterior inferior cerebellar artery and superior cerebellar artery. This figure depicts the blood supply of the cerebellum. These are the superior cerebellar artery which is the branch of the brassular artery. Whereas posterior inferior cerebellar artery is the branch of vertebral artery and this anterior inferior cerebellar artery is the branch of basilar artery. Superior cerebellar artery supplies upper surface of the cerebellum, cerebellar hemispheres, ipsilateral forces of the superior vermix and most of the part of dented nuclei, upper portion of the middle cerebellar peduncles. Whereas anterior inferior cerebellar artery supplies anterior petrosal surface of the cerebellar hemispheres, floculus and lower portions of the middle cerebellar peduncles and lateral pontomedullary tegmentum. Whereas in posterior inferior cerebellar artery supply half of the cerebellum below the plane of great horizontal fissures. as well as inferior cerebellar peduncles and ipsilateral portion of the inferior vermix and inferior surface of the cerebellar hemispheres. Then cerebellum is connected to the brain stem by three pairs of peduncles. Caudal or inferior cerebellar peduncles that is called restiform body middle cerebral peduncles that is called branchium pontis and rostral or superior cerebellar peduncles that is called as branchium conjunctivum. Caudal and rostral peduncles contains both afferent and efferent tracts whereas middle cerebral peduncles contains mainly afferent fibers. Inferior cerebral peduncles, which is called restiform body, it connects cerebellum to the medulla oblongata and carries afferent and efferent fibers. This includes dorsal spinocerebral tracts, which originate in the dorsal nucleus of Clark at T1 to L2 and carries proprioceptive and exteroceptive informations from trunk and ipsilateral lower extremities. Cuneocerebellar tracts which originate in the external arcuate nuclei and transmit proprioceptive information from upper extremities and neck. Olivocerebellar tracts carries somatosensory information from contralateral inferior olivary nuclei. Then vestibulocerebellar tracts that transmit information from vestibular re receptors on both sides of the body. Then reticulocerebellar tracts 
arises in the lateral reticular and paramedian nuclei of the medulla. Arcuto-cerebellar tracts arises from arcuate nuclei of medulla oblongata and trisaminocerebellar tracts which arises from a spinal and main sensory nuclei of trisaminal nerves. Different fibers in restiform bodies include cerebrovestibular pathway which constitutes the vestigioglobular tracts known as juxta restiform body and cerebroreticular pathway. The middle cerebellar peduncles that is called as branchium pontis is the largest of the three cerebellar peduncles, connects cerebellum to pons and carries mainly afferent fibers of pontocerebellar tracts that is called corticopontocerebellar. Arises in contralateral pontine gray matters and transmit impulse from cerebellar cortex to the intermediate and lateral zones of the cerebellum. Superior cerebellar peduncles that is called as branchium conjunctivum connects cerebellum to midbrain. Apparent fibers of the superior cerebral peduncles include ventral spinocerebellar tracts that transmit proprioceptive and exteroceptive informations from level below the mid thorax. Tectocerebral tracts that arises in the superior and inferior colliculum and carries auditory and visual informations. Trisaminocerebellar tracts that carries proprioceptive fibers from mesencephalon and tactile informations from chief sensory nuclei of trisaminal nerves. And cerebrocerebellar tracts that arises that carries fibers from nucleus cerulius. Efferent fibers of the superior cerebral peduncles include dentorubral tracts that carries output to contralateral red nuclei and many fibers in, in this nuclei are branches of largest dentothalmic tract. Dentothalmic tracts that transmit output to contralateral ventrolateral nuclei of thalamus and uncinate bundles of Russell that carries output to vestibular nuclei and reticular formations. This table summarizes the superior, middle and inferior cerebral peduncles and afferent and efferent pathway of it. Superior cerebral peduncles have the afferent pathway of pentospinocerebral tracts, tectocerebral tracts, trisaminocerebral tracts, rubrocerebral tracts and cerebrocerebral tracts, whereas efferent are Floclor nodular tracts, dentothalmic tracts, dentorubral tracts, and uncinate vessels. Middle cerebral peduncles contains corticocerebral tracts, but it has no efferent pathways. Inferior cerebral peduncles have the afferents, dentospinocerebral tracts, cuneocerebral tracts, vestibulocerebral tracts reticulocerebral tracts and oliviocerebral tracts and the efferent in inferior cerebral peduncles are cerebrovestibular tracts and sinate russells. Thank you.